I have a question for you. If you could only add one new feature on the Syntact, which one would it be? To be honest, I probably would say sampling playback or polyphony. But come on, let's try to be realistic and stay on topic here. One feature that I think would make a huge difference is a chorus effect. It's a small thing, but it can really bring life to almost any sound. I've included a comparison with and without chorus to give you a feel for the difference. There are chapter markers, so in case you're impatient and want to jump straight to that part, you can do so. But let's play through the full song first. And as you're listening to it, I'm curious to hear what your number one feature is. So please feel free to drop a comment below. Now here's the good news, even though the syntax doesn't have chorus built in, you can always record a jam using Overbridge and apply chorus afterwards in the DAW. So in case you're wondering how we were able to add chorus to this track, that's how. Alright, so let me play a section of the song again, but this time we'll isolate the sounds that have chorus applied to them. I'll switch the chorus effect on and off so you can hear the difference. And keep in mind that the effect is subtle, so it's best if you wear good headphones when listening. Starting with the chorus effect off.
So why is this important in the first place, if you can add chorus in the DAW? Well, I can only speak for myself and the way I prefer to make music. I often sit with the Syntact and stand alone on my lap sketching out new ideas. And to me, having chorus built into the synthesizer is about getting a feel for the groove and feeling of the song while I'm still in the noodling phase. So at that point, I probably don't even know if the sketch is worth working on or if I'll end up throwing the idea away or starting over. All of this happens way before I do the final jam and recording in front of a camera. And also to be clear, I would still replace the chorus in the DAW once the jam is recorded because that always gives you more control and flexibility when mixing a track. To me, this is more about the sketching phase and getting a better feel for the end result while a new song is taking shape. Oh, and I should mention that there is a way to create a simple chorus effect right on the syntax itself. I've left a link to a great tutorial by Human Program in the description below if you're interested in how that's done. But the problem with that method is that you have to sacrifice the delay effect to achieve it. And that's not a trade-off that I'm willing to make because we use delays in our music all the time. From my perspective, they should just copy-paste the digitone chorus into the syntax. That should, in theory, be very simple. Of course, nothing is ever simple when it comes to shipping hardware and software and all that kind of stuff, um, but it would certainly make me happy. All right, I hope this is useful to you in some ways. And if you want more content like this, please consider subscribing because we have a lot of stuff similar to this lined up for 2024, including new gear. With all that said, I hope you're having fun making music. That's really all that matters in the end. Thanks for watching.